what's up everyone? Tedrick85 here, and today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of something different on my channel. And as you can see, I'm gonna be playing Shovel Knight, but I'm actually gonna be playing the add-on to it, which is Spectre of Torment. As you can see, the game is made by Yacht Club Games. Okay, body swap mode available. Change characters from male to female, or vice versa. Access this feature from the pause menu. Available in Shovel Knight's adventure only. Cooperative mode available. Grab a friend and shovel together. Access this feature from the profile, select, or world map. Also available in Shovel Knight only. Sound test available. Listen and enjoy the music of Shovel Knight. Select sound test on the menu. Spectre of Torment now available. Play prequel adventure starring the shadowy side spinner Spectre Knight. Create a new profile to begin. And that's actually the game I'm gonna be playing right now. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. I know it was released in, uh, over in Japan for the Wii U, it's out for Steam and that, and so, and I actually just found out a few hours ago about this, so, slice and dice through the tragic prequel, ooh, I like that, I have to admit, Spectre Knight is one of my favorite out of the order no quarter nights, just type my name here, I'm gonna go with Teddy, like I always do, but yeah, it's midnight right now, and I figured, you know what, I can't sleep, so might as well play this and find out what it's like. I still gotta finish, uh, Plague Knight's story at Shad uh, Plague of Shadows. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. I'm gonna like this already, I know it. But although the land is peaceful, for some, Freedom is a far gone memory. Oh boy. That's where the tragic stuff comes in. Spectre Knight, servant to the Enchantress, has been given a harrowing task. Is it, is it just me or does the Enchantress look a little bit like Dove Cameron? He must recruit a group of knights and form an invincible order. Also known as the Order of No Quarters. With each member gathered, a treasured keepsake grows in power. That's the amulet from the original game. An artifact that can restore his humanity, but only when its task is complete. Oh, that is neat! You actually get to see what he looks like as a human. I love that! Now, he leaves t the confines of Tower of Fate. It's time for the Reaper to pursue his quarry. Oh, I am gonna love this. I know it. I'm loving the backstory on this already. Quite the ominous scenery there. Um... Do I get to start? Is there more to this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, this something should have been happening here. But before I do anything else, I just want to make sure that I can see this on my gamepad. Because, to be honest with you, while I was reading that, it was kind of awkward looking at my laptop screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just... Switch there. There we go. A little bit of a remix on your original uh, Shovel Knight theme. How am I supposed to get up there? Okay, wait a minute. Is there something I'm missing? How am I supposed to get up there? Okay, I can wall jump. Oh, there we go! Not only can he wall jump, but he can actually walk up walls! I love doing this for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, that is gonna be wicked! Of course, it's gonna take me getting used to this. I am loving this remix on the Shovel Knight music. Okay, apparently I can't walk up this grass part. I need to get up the third part here. Take care of these slimes. They remind me of the slime on the Tower of Juraga game. Get up there. There we go. I do have to say right now, it is going to take me some time to get used to these controls, but... I am loving this. How the heck did I do that? 
This is cool! Yeah, this is completely different from the Shovel Knight and Plague Knight campaigns in terms of controls. Okay, there's a thing something over here. Uh, Flaming Red Skull. Okay, I'm guessing that's gonna be significant. And I just noticed, I have a Will meter and I also have a Darkness meter. Again, with the Acrobat on the attack there, I wonder how the heck I did... Oh, okay, I see what... See, apparently, if you're able... If there's like a slash mark through it, if you see that, you can actually propel yourself. There we go, I think I got it now. I just need to... There we go! And I got another Flaming Red Skull. Okay, so far the layout on this level is identical to on Shovel Knight. I just gotta size my way through this dragon here. That was easy enough. Oh, I am liking that gimmick a lot. And apparently you can get rid of those blocks just by stepping on them and then jumping off of them. Okay, I do need to watch out for this. I know there are hidden slimes somewhere. There has to be. That's if it's anything like the... Yep. I'm gonna watch out for this here. Spot here. Okay, I need to time this right. There we go. There we go. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was my bad right there. I just did not time that correctly at all. Unlike the other games, this first level, you can't really destroy the checkpoints. That's always nice. Match with the dragon here. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh! Of course I would get hit that time. Why wouldn't I? Oh, I love that! See, that just adds a new dimension to uh, already dynamic controls in this game. Oh, I was not expecting this at all. And it should go without saying that I did not look at any spoilers for this whatsoever because I did kind of have this planned in advance that I would do this on my channel, so I have no idea about anything that's going to happen here, so... Now apparently if the skulls aren't flaming, that means I don't have to collect them again, so that's a really good thing right there. Of course, you have to watch out, probably in later levels, I have to imagine, on those, uh, yellow blocks there. Can I get that? That is so cool! <laughs> I can't get over that! And uh, the food is, like, rotten food. There was rotten apple before, and then there was turkey bones right there. Oh, I am loving the aesthetic on this! That wasn't too bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see there's something hidden over there. I want to... Uh, yeah, I want to at least check that out. Yeah, if you're familiar at all with the original game, which... I would think if you could have this by now, you'd be uh, familiar with it, then there really isn't too many surprises other than the new uh, added gameplay here. Okay, well... See, I'm, I'm not gonna get too upset here because I am just playing this for the very first time. I'm sure with enough practice, I won't have as much difficulty with that, but, uh... This is definitely one of those games that you definitely have to be patient with it. You're not 
gonna get good at it until you play it more and more. I can see this is gonna be one of those games. Because I remember the first time I played Shovel Knight, um, I had a bit of difficulties until I started playing it more and more, and I don't know why that didn't work that time, but... Come on. Get why isn't that working that time? Wow. You know what? That treasure just not worth it right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. But yeah, this is gonna be a work in pro uh, progress for me. I'm definitely gonna have to play this more on my own time here. I'm not sure if I want to turn this into a series yet, I don't know. I, kn I wasn't very good at the first Shovel Knight. I haven't even made it halfway through uh, Plague Knight's campaign yet, so... Okay, I think there's something hidden up here. Yep. There should be some goodies up this ladder here. Nice! And I think that's the same amount of treasure that you got in the original game. I could be wrong, though. Okay. Wait a minute, what's that up there? What? Willful Wisp. Prolongs your undeath by increasing maximum will. Oh, okay! Oh, that is awesome! Needless to say, that's gonna help me out. Oh, I didn't even see that slime there. <laughs> okay, get you. Okay, just... Okay, Spectre Knight. Okay. Down you go. Apparently that darkness meter up there has to do with uh, special weapons that you get. There we go. <laughs> that is neat. You know, if you can time it just right, you can actually combo this dragon to death. Uh, not sure I... Oh! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was about to say, I wasn't sure that Red Skull was worth it, but I ended up dying anyway, so... You know, I don't even care if I die, how many times I die in this. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I mean, oh my god, this was even better than what I would imagine. And like I said before, Spectre Knight was always one of my favorites in the Order of No Quarter, but... Oh man, I'm loving this. Like I said before, it is going to take some time to get used to controls because this works very different from him on Sp uh, Shovel Knight and Plague Knight, but... Shouldn't be anything too terribly bad. Okay. Oh no! <sighs> yeah. I know I lost a lot of treasure there, but again, not worth it. Sure, I'll collect some more booty later on as I progress in the game, but uh. See, you could even combo any enemy here. I cannot get over this. This is amazing. I know there's probably something hidden on the left there, but you know what? I just want to go ahead and progress. I can go ahead and do that on my own time. I don't want this video to be too, too long, but, uh, depending on how many fa more fails I have here, but... Halt! These foul lands are no place for commoners. Turn back, whoever you are. Fool, I've come here for you. You will kneel before me, bow before the Enchantress, and join her order. Your cutting words are no match for my cutting blows. I'll teach you a lesson in humility. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Come, Terrapin, my sh shielded steed. Oh my gosh! Okay, I was not expecting this. This is totally awesome! Oh my god! Okay. You know what, I'm just hitting wherever right now. Oh my god. I'm not even sure if I'm even hitting him correctly, but... Oh my god. Watch out for his attack here. Get you. Yes! That is a frantic fight. Oh my god, I love that. That was fun. 
That fighting cell, could it be? Donovan? But you were claimed by the tower! The tower grows in power each moment. The Enchantress has plans for you and will grant you what you desire. I won't be led astray. You standing before me means there's hope for the one I seek. I'm glad you are safe, Donovan, but keep your distance. The Donovan I knew would surely know better than to pursue me further. Okay, we just found out that Spectre Knight's real name is Donovan, and I think the one that uh, Black Knight is referring to is Shield Knight, uh, based on the coloring of the font on the one, but, uh, should we see here Spectre Knight on some kind of castle? Okay. I was gonna say, what? Oh, there's Dove Cameron again. So, you've returned. I assume Black Knight has joined our ranks? Neither words nor sighs had any effect. The fool persists in some fruitless quest. Indeed. It seems I am dealing only with fools here. Was I a fool to trust you? Tarry here no longer, and for your sake, pray that the others are less obstinate. Bring the knights immediately. Well then. Okay. Not exactly sure where I'm at right now. Okay, this is kind of like the village on the original Shovel Knight. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with a cloak. Perhaps I'll make an offer. Offer 800 gold? Oh, that was offer. A waste of time and of gold. My beloved, my betrothed, my heart breaks, for her red skull lies misplaced. Oh, to see her crimson face once more. If you should happen upon a red skull, or even a hundred of them, then I beg you, please, bring them all to me. In a past life, I hunted curios, but I trade them all away just to see my love again. Surely these would interest you. Actually, they don't interest me right now, though I might experiment with that on my own time. Still kind of bit bad for you, though. Oh, hey, Specty! Welcome back! If you ever miss any wisp chests, I can summon their contents here. But, you know, supplies. I need gold. It isn't cheap to summon a wisp, whether it's for will or darkness. I've got nothing to sell you, you're so meticulous, Specty. but maybe I can still help, let's see. Whisper in Clockwork Tower Explod Explodatorium of the Ditchyard. Any other new place and you'll find a willful whisk. Okay. Looks like something, okay. Oh, hello, my flightless friend. If you have an amiibo, I can transform it into a fairy companion. Would you like me to summon some fairy fun for you? Nah. Sure, it's drafty in here, but still, I carry on. Just a joke, you know, while scavenging customers. <laughs> Probably puts my mind of the creatures on Dark Crystal a little bit. These creatures are gathering around a vessel marked with curios. Perhaps I make an offering. Oh, okay. Waste of time and of coin. Yep, yep. Wow. Yawn. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty cool. What? Hail, Lord Spectre Knight. Glory to the Enchantress. She has entrusted me to operate this dark portal. Cross through it and you'll reach your target in a mere moment. Shall I prepare the magic mirror for your departure, my lord? Eh, okay. Um, okay. I don't think I want to mess with that right now. How do I get out of here? Do I just... Do I just drop down here? What? Oh, are you kidding? Oh, I didn't lose any treasure, that's good. My lord, I was afraid we lost you for good. Please, you must watch your footing on a tower. So... Wait, there's no map on here? Looks like I do need to use that mirror after all. Okay. Um... Okay, this is kind of like the Mega Man games where you pretty much pick your starting point. That's a pretty cool touch, I actually like that. But with that, you know what, I'm approaching nearly the 20 minute mark here, so I think I'm going to stop things here. Man, I love this game, and like I said before, I'm not sure if I want to turn this into a series or not, but I did want to make this video just to give my th first thoughts on it, and god I love this game, so... But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you guys again next time.